All right, what's up, everyone, and welcome back to more Kena Bridge of Spirits. Let's go ahead and continue. We got, I think it was, how many rot? Like, uh, one, two, oh my gosh, they're teleporting. We got quite a few rot now, uh, but we just defeated that big bad guy right there. Coming up to this nice overlook. This is the typical, you know, open world RPG, whatever type of uh, thing. Every Zelda does this type of stuff. You know, any open world game does this. You get to a point where you're done with the tutorial and you pretty much just go to an overlook. It has a little cutscene. <laughs> Very nice. Looks like a fantastic world. All right, map is now available. We are basically nowhere. Oh, I guess this has unlocked since we're in this area now. It looks like we have to help Taro way over here. But first, let's go ahead and drop down and go into the shrine. I'm, I'm curious, is there anything here? I don't think there's anything right here. Oh man, first step is a drop there. Let's go ahead and take a look at around these areas. And I don't think I can just climb anywhere. I think there is, yeah, barriers and stuff. It's kind of reminds me, it's a little bit more like Fable, where it's kind of of an open world, but not really. Like, it's open areas. Um, which I actually enjoy that, because you can kind of focus the story a little bit more on those type of games, rather than just be completely open world, uh, where people could kind of go wherever they want. It's, to me, a smarter decision, sometimes depends on the game, to just do something like this, where it's open areas, and you could go back to the other worlds, like, I mean, go back to the other areas, um, as you unlock more abilities and all that type of stuff. Look at all this. Okay, so up there is one that we're going to have to be able to get to. I don't think I can get up there. There we go, inside this old messed up village. Oh, oh. What is that? Like there's I get I can feel my controller rumbling. I don't know why. Examine. I'll wait for you at the water shrine in the Forgotten Forest. Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go to this cutscene. Oh, it's closing up. Gonna have to do a little bit of fighting here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hit those first before I could get the main one. Uh, it looks like there's three of those. The first one is right here, but all our little guys are scared, so I gotta build up the courage. There we go. Now we got some courage there. We can bust it and break it open. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the rot there. Break that one. All right. And it looks like we have another one in here. Is there anything? I don't think anything shows up there. So this one is opening up now. And I'm guessing there's going to be a new bad guy for this one. Oh, no. Nice. Okay. I figured there would be a new bad guy for that, but I guess not. Hat cart discovered. Oh, now we're talking. Now we can put some hats on these rots. All right, uh, karma and upgrades. Create karma by uh, defeating uh, corrupted enemies, restoring the environment, and finding fruit uh, for your rati. Oh, so that creates karma. It's also the fruit. I was wondering what the fruit did. Uh, from the new upgrade menu, use karma to unlock new abilities. Okay, so it's good to find the fruit because it gives us all this type of stuff. Okay, so this one is additional karma of 150 for the parry counter. Uh, sprint attack light. Okay, so while you're sprinting, how much do I have? How much karma do I have? Not enough. We got 75. This is 50. I guess we'll just go ahead and do the very first one there. Um, while sprinting, press right, a powerful overhead attack. Okay. Nice. Um, this is rot. These are worth 100 here. Hold right trigger and X to create a rot hammer that can strike from distance. Oh, okay. 
Nice. So now I can run, and then I can do that and do a swing attack. Nice. Okay, let's open this one up. Ooh, we got ourselves a hat. A pot. Where are they at? Oh, here they are. Shop. Okay, they went into the shop. He has a pot. I already have a pot. Equip hats. I got a new captain hat, a pirate bandana hat. Look at all these, a captain hat, a pirate bandana, a mushroom. We got to I think we got to purchase a mushroom. And we have another pot. Let's go ahead and go with another pot there. Okay. And pirate bandana, sure. There we go. We got three guys with some hats here. Outfits. Oh, get a new outfit for her. Okay. So there's a bunch of new outfits. Look at all of them. Amazing. All right. So there's, we got to talk to them. I'm sure there's probably stuff to explore in this area. There's of course another rod here. Let's go ahead and collect him. But we could come back and explore this a little bit. I'm sure that there's quite a bit of stuff that you can find throughout here. What's this right here? Curious. Oh, a warp zone. Okay. Village center. So that's the only place, but nice. We found a warp zone. Open that up. Hey, food. Come on, guys. Pick it up and eat. Let's go. All right. Um, where are we headed to? Where is this where I need to go? I have no idea where I need to go. What is this right here? Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Use the rot. What is that? Okay, just something for them to eat. All right, got more of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, what is this? Use rot. What does this do? Ah, okay. That's just getting more of that stuff. Yeah, I'm curious. What is this? Open. Oh, okay. Okay. That is basically enemies will spawn on those type of chests. Here we go. This is, you know, fairly easy right now. I don't know how difficult this is. Okay, that's it. I'm sure there's probably more difficult ones out there. Uh, there's probably ones that require a lot more fighting to be able to unlock. And that gives you a lot of that. Nice. Can't get in there. There's stuff all up there. I don't know if I could do anything up here, can I? Yeah, there's nothing here I can do. All right. Probably should go ahead and go talk to those kids. And we could keep exploring this at another time. Oh, there's one right here. I didn't even notice this. Ooh. It's a new hat. So, how do I control... The hats, does it automatically uh, connect to it? Where's the hat cart? There it is. So does it automatically or do I have to come over here and just check it out? Oh, or it unlocks it here. Ah, that's what it is. It unlocks it here. It's going to get one clover hat and how about one captain hat? There we are. Then outfits, this is 100. I don't even know what the outfits this is. 
I don't want to purchase it. You probably have to unlock it to be able to see it. Maybe. I don't know. Or if it's all random. This way? The Lady Zaju can help. He's usually at the Masked Shrine. You'll know when you see the sacred trees. Okay, hey, usually at the Masked Shrine. Okay. Investigate the Masked Shrine. I'm guessing it's this way. That does not look good over there. Hmm. Oh, did it do anything? There we go. Okay, it did do something. The rot seem quite fond of you. They're usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the Sacred Mountain Shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. Trapped spirits linger here, tangled in the tragedies of our past. You must help these spirits if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. On my way, I met two children. They asked me to help free a boy named Taro. I'm not surprised that Benny and Saya found you. They are clever children and would do anything for their brother. We have always crafted wooden masks. To honor those who have passed on. Placed here, the masks slowly turn to dust, aiding the spirit's journey into the next life. My father was a spirit guide. Our traditions are different, but he helped many spirits pass from this life to the next. So you know what happens to spirits unable to move on. Take Taro's mask. It is bound to his spirit and will help you fulfill your promise to the children. Hmm. Okay. Look after Benny and Saya. Their brother's fate will be difficult for them to understand. All right. Taro's mask. Uh, to wear the spirit mask. Look through the mask to find your way, open spirit barriers, reveal objects of importance in the environment. Spirit masks are helpful for finding rot hidden in the world. Ooh, okay. So... How do, how do I tell if there's like rot hidden in the world? Okay, there's that. Oh, oh, oh. Is that, is that basically saying where the rot is? Like there's, uh, if I follow those tracks there? I have no idea what I'm looking for. All right, so go this way. What are, yeah, there's steps. I wish you could kind of like walk with it also. Okay, so that keeps going that way. See, there's stuff over here. There's a little, what is this? Is this the rot? Oh, okay. So it's just a way to, like, I could find it and move around. Very cool. And there we are. We got another one. All right. Now, the problem is I don't think I could go inside here. Like, I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> Uh, good to know. Good to know. Nope, I cannot go inside there. Oops, I, I hit the right trigger to sprint. Wrong one. What's up here? Oh. But I need to go that way. Or stuff, but I'm curious. What's up here then? And this is... See, this is what I like. There's a lot of places... Okay, what's that? 
I don't have whatever that is. There's probably an ability that you need for that. I don't have it right now. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like where you could kind of go back and forth, you know, between the areas. Uh, but you got to like come back once you get a new ability or things like that. Pretty cool. Um, okay, that's rot infested. I can't mess with that at all. We will go ahead and continue back over here. Uh, I thought I had to look at it. I guess not. Ah, you use the mask once you get to here. Okay, but there's a lot of, like, buildings right here. Oh my gosh, I missed this entire chest right here. Okay, there we go. Got that chest. What is that right there? You gotta grow something? I can't mess with that right now, at least. Maybe eventually I'll be able to. Yeah, I can't mess with that. Okay. Examine this one. I haven't seen Toby in a while. He's usually playing with the children across the street. And everything is just completely taken over. Uh, we got ourselves a hidden bucket. Wonder if I can make my way around. Use the rot. Where? Right there. Okay. So rot, go ahead and pick that one up. Uh, let's go ahead and drop it there. Move it uh, right there. Go ahead and release. Let's go ahead and use the rod to move that out of the way so we're good. Make sure there's nothing else in here besides this. What is this? Okay, you found spirit mail. You have found something that belonged to the villager. Return it to their house. The village location is marked on your map. Okay. I'm pretty sure as they said they usually play a cross. So I'm guessing, yeah, that's probably what that mail means right there. Deliver the mail. Oh, and does it unlock the area? Well, there we go. Unlocks the area. So that means we could come fight this and release it too. Get up there, Rot. And we have cleared out this house. Ooh. Person there playing with an animal. Oh, is that us releasing the spirit? Oh, that's cool. So I guess that's releasing the spirits, uh, depends on the area. Hmm. I don't know what this is. What is this? Is there a rod hiding under there? <laughs> ah, there he is. Awesome. We got another one. How many is that now? Is that 10? We got 11 now. Okay. 
And that is there. There's nothing else over here. This person has a really nice overlook. I love how the rot just like show up in locations. <laughs> like they sit while you're running around. It's pretty good. Oh, what is it? A mushroom hat. Yellow mushrooms. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, of course we have to... Oh, I almost forgot about that barrel. Food! Come on, Rock. Come get food. That gives me money. There you go. There's one. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, they, they're sinking into the ground. Don't worry about it then. <laughs> okay. That means we're done with that. What's over here? There's more stuff. More and more stuff over here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything over here. Just going to double check to make sure there's not... Oh. Oh. Wait. Looks like he goes into there, or is he going this way? Yeah, he's going that way, but he's going into there, so we're probably going to have to, you know, unlock all that type of stuff to be able to actually get him. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to mess with that. Yeah, I guess we could talk to them, see if they say anything. It went There's more of that nasty stuff blocking the All right, we'll get, we'll get rid of it. All right, so rocket purify special flowers and restore Kena's health. Send your rod to, okay. Ah! Got him. There we go. Ah! It takes forever to swing that heavy. Get him, Rot! Confuse him! <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. Perfect. There we are. Just gotta keep dodging, you know. Perfect. And the flowers are saved. What is that? Don't know what that is, but let's use a rot. I know what that is. It's a forest here. Forest here temporarily restores the rot to their original form. Okay. So move the cloud in this form. The rot can attack enemies, destroy bears, clear corruption. Hmm. Amazing. Does he know any tricks, Kana? All right, let's spin. It's attacking. That's pretty cool. Nice. I guess we could come up here and we could clear rot with this. Let's release because we need more space there. These are the flowers that uh, we were supposed to use. There you go. Let's collect that one. Is there any... Oh, there is. Where is he at? Is he inside here? I bet you he's inside there, but you probably got to do this. To do it. Alright, let's see. Yep. And there he is. Right there. Got an extra rot there. There we go, we got twelve now. All 
All right, it's pretty cool. I can run with them. And there we go. Nice. That's cleared out. And now we can continue going. Over here, Kena. There's something in the ground. I bet a forest tear can grow here. Oh, that's what they're for. Okay, so forest tears can grow there. And can I position them to... All right, y'all go ahead and move the object over here. That's special force tier water. Hey, the little rock guys did it. They made another one. Okay, I need to check behind the waterfall because as you always check behind waterfalls, and you can't. Zero out of ten game. There's nothing behind the waterfall. What is the point of this game anymore? Okay, let's go ahead and use the rot. Let's do a slam this time. Nice. Got it. There we go. Interact with this. Oh, that gave us a lot of the money. Not sure if we could do anything there. Alright, let's go ahead and use the rot. There we go. Run through. There we go. Alright, done. That looks like you slide down, so got to keep coming up this way. I don't think there's. Can you do anything? Is there anything even over here? Well, now I gotta look. Cause I don't think I looked over here. What was that? Whenever I. Hmm. I have no idea. And that of course falls. So I'm guessing if you fall, you slide down. Really, shouldn't be falling here. <laughs> Warp zone. Cool. Oh, man. This looks like a little bit of a fight here. This looks like fun. Let's get some of the easy guys here. Okay, I I'm confused. Where's my camera turning to? Come on. Oh, there's a big guy. Didn't even see him. Didn't see him. Didn't see him. All right.
Careful. Ah, come on. All right, here we go. Let's keep running. Okay, I can't, I can't use any type of rot stuff right now. I need to get the little guys. Problem is... Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hey, come on. I dodged. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. It took a little while, a little more difficult because the small guys were constantly attacking me while I was trying to do stuff here. Oh yeah, I forgot, you gotta pulse it. And we have that, which is perfect. We could go over there. I don't even know if this does anything here. Is there any, uh, any rot around? It looks like there is some over that way. So how about we go ahead and get that so we can get the little rot. Go ahead and release them. And there he is. Oh, so close. Two more. And then I don't know what happens, but two more. What's back that way? A house over back that way? How about we go ahead and check out that house first? Okay. Go ahead and uh, take this out. What do we get? Nice. A bow. Let's see, I don't see anything else here. Pretty much just the bow. And that's it. All right, this is such a beautiful area right here. Very good looking game. All right, so before we continue on, I, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. Uh, thank you all everyone for coming out and watching, appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.